Consolidation therapy um, is a relatively new way um, of uh, treating patients to try and uh, keep the myeloma disease controlled, uh, but also improve responses after patients have had their initial, uh, what we call induction chemotherapy. So an example uh, would be for patients who have had uh, chemotherapy followed by uh, an autologous stem cell transplant. Consolidation of that would be some treatment given for uh, one or more cycles after the transplant to try and improve responses, but also to try and keep the disease controlled for as long as possible. Maintenance treatment um, is a little bit different from consolidation treatment, and this is a continuous therapy that's given after initial disease control has been, uh, has been gained by uh, chemotherapy treatments and uh, the maintenance therapy is given for a long period of time, usually until the disease is not being controlled anymore. Consolidation and maintenance therapies may well be useful for patients with myeloma. The reasons uh, that we think that this is the case is that we know that uh, with present uh, therapies, uh, only about a third to half of patients will be in remission after they've completed their initial uh, chemotherapy treatment, and this includes uh, uh, stem cell transplants. And uh, by giving some treatment which can actually upgrade the response, i.e. Uh, make the response um, better than it was after the transplant, um, with a consolidation treatment, for example, uh, will hopefully be uh, advantageous for patients in terms of keeping the disease controlled for a very long time. We also know that unfortunately for most patients, myeloma will come back after their initial therapy, and it is hoped that giving maintenance treatments uh, that it will keep the disease controlled for a much, much longer period of time than for those patients who don't have maintenance therapies. Of course, one of the key questions uh, that, that we have in terms of trying to decide whether or not consolidation or maintenance therapies are uh, beneficial for myeloma patients is whether or not uh, by giving these treatments over a long period of time that the side effect profile of the drugs uh, makes the treatments uh, less tolerable for patients and uh, less likely to uh, keep the disease controlled uh, over that period of time. There is also a potential uh, concern that by giving treatments earlier in the course of the disease means that um, they might not be quite as effective um, at a later stage in the disease uh, if and when the disease relapses. There are a number of um, clinical trials uh, that are ongoing at present looking at a number of different drugs uh, for both uh, consolidation and maintenance therapies. But these actually tend to be drugs that uh, have already been used for myeloma patients. So an example of this for consolidation would be the, uh, the VTD combination, which is bortezomib, uh, thalidomide, and dexamethasone. And examples uh, in the maintenance uh, setting would be uh, long-term Revlimid or regular uh, Velcade or, or bortezomib treatment uh, for maintenance. And uh, one of the key questions that these clinical trials are, are trying to ask is whether or not um, the improvements in response and uh, control of the disease that have been demonstrated actually lead to patients living for longer with their myeloma, but actually being able to tolerate therapies and being able to maintain their quality of life whilst having continuous therapy. Consolidation and maintenance therapies uh, are not something that uh, tend to be widely um, administered to patients at the moment. And this is because there are a number of clinical trials which have been undertaken to try and figure out exactly how useful they are, uh, what type of therapies are the, make the best consolidation and maintenance therapies, and uh, how long that you give those treatments for. So um, although there are drugs that one can use uh, 
uh, that have been suggested to have some maintenance activity, most patients who receive these treatments receive them within the context of a clinical trial. Uh, so in, in the UK at the moment, um, the main clinical trial um, for patients to access maintenance and consolidation therapies is the myeloma 11 study. Uh, and this is the asking the specific questions about the value for patients to have both consolidation treatments and maintenance therapies. And it uses a, a number of different uh, maintenance treatment approaches, as well as um, some patients who don't receive maintenance therapy. And this is because we currently don't clearly know um, that, the, uh, that having maintenance therapies both increase the length of uh, control of the disease that there is with, um, uh, with the initial therapies, but also most importantly, uh, whether these are tolerated well enough so that patients can continue to take the treatments. It does seem that on the basis of the early clinical trials that have been um, published, uh, that the, there is a real place for the use of consolidation therapies as well as maintenance therapies. And, and it seems very likely that in the future, uh, when we figure out exactly which patients are likely to benefit the most from these treatments and what combination of drugs give the best benefit for patients, that both consolidation and maintenance treatments will be part of the, uh, the uh, treatments that we will offer to myeloma patients. <music>